Medical innovations start with the ideas and visions of committed scientists. Successful innovations then evolve over time, not within weeks or mere months, but years, as they graduate through different stages of development that entail basic research and clinical research. The Kenya Medical Research Institute, KEMRI, has in a similar manner grown step by step from its humble beginnings in 1979 to become a world-renowned medical research institution. In this respect, the development of its physical structures as well as manpower were carefully designed to respond to the most pressing medical issues of the time as it developed its capacity. As Kemri came of age after acquiring a critical mass of highly trained scientists, its research programs expanded to meet the challenges of the emerging and re-emerging health problems. So, the Institute reorganized its research programs into six thematic research areas as follows. 1. Biotechnology Program 2. Natural Products Research and Drug Development NAPREDA Program is a Vision 2030 flagship project. 3. Infectious and Parasitic Diseases Program 4. Public Health and Health Systems Program 5. Non-Communicable Diseases Program 6. Sexual Reproductive Adolescent and Child Health Program Each research program is composed of a multidisciplinary group of experts drawn from local and international universities and research organizations, government agencies, institutional collaborators and KEMRI itself. Kemri has established itself as a leading institute of research in the region and worldwide. To that effect, we actually have had to develop our human capacity, both in research and other supportive departments, as well as build on the laboratory capacity to be able to diagnose and offer the necessary services that research so much embeds itself in. In Cambry, we have been able to cover all the spectrum of healthcare that we can be able to provide to Kenyans. Research conducted by Kemri has shown that out of 1.6 million people living with HIV virus in Kenya, 900,000 are on antiretrovirals. Although ARVs have reduced AIDS, related morbidity and mortality, they have resulted in HIV-1 drug resistance and emergence of new strains whose virulence is yet to be established. Through the research centers in Busia and Nairobi, Kemri have established the first ever HIV genotyping program in the country. Interestingly, the CVR laboratory has identified new and evolving HIV genotypes in Kenya, including the very rare subtype O, HIV-2, and a myriad of recombinants. Perhaps the greatest clinical impact of Kemri has been its contribution to HIV drug resistance testing in Kenya. Information from this study is expected to assist in the designing of vaccine as well as helping in making decisions on the change of treatment regimen, among others. It was initiated the ARVs 2005 and I've been on ARVs for the last 2005 to date as almost 12 years. And those 12 years has, been, has, has done a killer, uh, uh, it has actually been very helpful to me. I've actually seen my children go, go to school uh, to, in the university. And then I'm seeing right now um, uh, at the age of 52, and I got infected at the age of 28. The United Nations uh, HIV uh, pro uh, program uh, uh, basically targets that by 2020, 90% of people who are HIV infected know their HIV status, 90% of those who know their status are started on medication, and 90% uh, of those who are medication are suppressing the disease. From 1984 to date, the center has been able to achieve quite a lot in terms of uh, advising the policy in this country and world over, because that is our main mandate. Similarly, 
in order to better understand how the body responds during the critical moments of early HIV infection, the Kericho site of Kemri is also participating in an innovative study focusing on the earlier stages of a HIV infection to help understand what is needed to create an effective HIV vaccine. The interventions used include very early broadly neutralizing antibodies, which are substances produced by the body to fight infections. Using the state-of-the-art laboratories certified by the esteemed College of American Pathologists, CAP, the study continues to monitor the progress of two babies and six adults who are apparently doing well. Kericho is a very cosmopolitan area. We believe <clears throat> once we develop a vaccine that will work in Kericho, it will probably most likely be effective uh, uh, globally. In another study, the Kericho team, in collaboration with the Boston University, have an applied research component which aims to produce documented evidence of the economic outcomes of treatment. When a study was conducted there, it was observed that once a HIV-positive individual received treatment, though their productivity may have declined, there was a steady increase and by six months productivity was restored, which meant more earnings for them. Applied research therefore provides evidence for the core mission of public health, which is to improve the health of the populations for increased productivity. With the advent of HIV AIDS and there being no effective cure, many claims of a treatment by traditional healers and proponents of alternative medicine emerged. Therefore, there came a need for the country to have a system to verify these claims through scientific inquiry, among others. Now, through the Center for Traditional Medicine and Drug Research, Kemri is able to verify and confirm such claims for what they are, true or false, by scientific means. Among other reasons, the P3 laboratory was established to conduct in vitro analysis and confirmation of possible candidate anti-HIV natural products. The only thing we need to provide is scientific information to support the herbal medicine. If we provide that information, then we have all-round information to facilitate the integration of this herbal product in the mainstream healthcare system. To this end, the Natural Products Research and Drug Development Research Program is one with a mandate to identify and develop effective traditional alternative medicines and drugs for use against diseases. For instance, through Kemri Research, Zedupex, an anti-herpes herbal medicine for management of human herpes, has been developed and registered with the Pharmacy and Poisons Board while two other plant extracts for tuberculosis treatment are under consideration for registration. Our main mandate is to carry out research in traditional or herbal medicine to authenticate uh, what our forefathers or the current traditional medical practitioners as we know them have been using over time. One of the problems with diseases that cause fever is determining which one it is. Therefore, there is need for efficient diagnostic equipment that can quickly determine the cause of high temperatures in patients so that appropriate treatment is administered without delay. It is out of this concern that a new diagnostic machine is being tested in Kisumu to help in determining the exact cause of a fever in a matter of minutes. A lot of Fevers are called malaria, but we've come to realize that a lot of fevers are actually not malaria. In addition to malaria, which is, you know, which is endemic in most places, there are other look alike and they will mimic as malaria. The relationship between Kemri and the Walter Reed project has had a long-standing history of accomplishments in combating increasingly complex disease threats like Ebola, HIV, malaria, tuberculosis and multi-drug resistance organisms. In the process, this has led to developing increasingly complex tools like whole genome sequencing and rapid diagnostic tools. We have very many uh, national partners 
who have been here but now more have been coming more interested in developing partnership with Cambry because Cambry now has become more visible in terms of its contribution to national health. Most recently, the collaboration has supported the President's Malaria Initiative rollout of National Malaria Quality Assurance Program, impacting 294 Kenyan health facilities with quality assurance training and efficiency testing for 121 officers. As a result, the manufacture and development of a new portable reader for malaria parasites and blood count for use in austere environments has been initiated. Clinical research studies are the reason medical care has improved in leaps and bounds in the past few decades. Without these carefully designed tests for new drugs or devices, treatment for diseases would not progress. The Scientific and Ethics Review Unit, CERU, is therefore central to research in Kemri. The unit's purpose is to facilitate research with human participants and to protect their rights and welfare. CERU reviews research submissions from Kemri and non-Kemri researchers interested in conducting research in Kenya. Before we do the study to make sure that it's ethical, that's not going to hurt anybody and that the people who are being done are being respected. Uh, we call that particular unit the Scientific Ethics and Review Unit. Likewise, Kemri and Shaw's communities are engaged and involved throughout the process of conducting studies from the beginning to the end. It is so crucial that the communities get to know the outcomes of the studies they have participated in or supported in one way or another. Over the years, we have also developed a deliberate mechanism to work in close partnership with local communities. We do this, we have a deliberate grouping or department that we have uh, developed to actually do an active day-to-day -day engagement with, with the local communities here and also engaging more and more with the local schools. The Center for Infectious and Parasitic Diseases Control Research has for a long time been the main site for superficial fungal infection research in the context of human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, in Western Kenya. Here, a study by Kemri in the spectrum of superficial fungal infection is being undertaken at an outpatient clinic in Busia. The study has found that tinea is the most prevalent superficial and opportunistic infection in HIV patients in the area. It was therefore established that antifungal susceptibility testing plays an important role in managing and guiding treatment decisions. We are actually famous in Alupe for diagnostics around skin diseases. And in fact, we developed some of the medications around skin diseases within our centre. The Center for Virus Research, which is one of the oldest centers in the Kenya Medical Research Institute, has seven laboratories and units located at the headquarters of Kemri, as well as its research compasses within Kenyatta National Hospital compound. The center also has several clinical research sites in Western Kenya, the Rift Valley and coastal regions of the country, with laboratories that handle overall research components, among them arbovirus and hemorrhagic fever unit, Influenza and other respiratory viral disease unit, viral diarrhea unit, viral hepatitis unit, EPI disease, polio and measles eradication program, HIV and AIDS, and human papillomavirus. Since its inception 37 years ago, the center has made great strides and achievements in terms of developing laboratory and human resource capacity, which has placed it among the best in the world. The role of Center for Virus Research is so important because for any outbreak of a viral disease, if it is not detected at the laboratory level, we may never know what is going on in the population. What began as a small collaborative program a while ago is today the largest program domiciled within the Center for Microbiology Research at Kemri. The Research Care and Training Program, RCTP, has the goal of conducting research, providing care and creating a supporting treatment with an emphasis on infectious diseases and with a bias towards sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV. Some of the outstanding achievements of the program have been in the following areas. Demonstrating that pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, in HIV-positive women can be treated as outpatients, 
influencing global policy on the pre-exposure prophylaxis among discordant couples and placed Kemri on the global platform among the top 10 innovations of the year. Established Shamba Maisha as a study which is addressing the dilemma faced by those affected and infected with HIV AIDS in Africa in terms of stigma and food security. Transformed lives and economic status through simple small loans that has ensured food security and health of HIV infected patients. Provided a platform for conducting clinical and implementation research. Shamba Maisha is an intervention that looks at if someone has access to land, and many people have access to land, they don't have to own it, but they may be able to farm it. Neglected tropical diseases are the most dilapidating ailments that pose socio-economic challenges to the affected families and communities at large. They manifest themselves in the form of viruses, bacteria, as well as parasites, and they include infections such as leishmaniasis, leprosy, buruli, ulcers, dengue fever, tuberculosis, and many more. The rise of non-communicable diseases in Kenya and throughout the world poses a threat to human health and a drain to the economy. NCDs such as cancers, diabetes and others account for 27% of the total deaths and over 50% of total hospital admissions in Kenya. We have been able to set up um, um, projects that are addressing issues of cancers in Kenya. And I must say that uh, we are one of the sites that has the most vibrant cancer registries in the country. This has warranted new approaches for prevention, diagnosis, treatment and cure of such afflictions. The field of stem cell research and regenerative medicine offers the opportunity to address the challenges the diseases pose. Stem cells are a class of undifferentiated cells that have the potential to develop into different cell types during early life and growth. They are an internal repair system which decides without limit to replenish other cells. We want to develop cells that can come, very young cells can come from, uh, say, the umbilical cord or the placenta, and that can be used and transferred to patients who are undergoing treatment for cancer. The Center for Clinical Research is the premier center at Kemri. It has a model hospital equipped completely for conducting clinical studies in Kenya. It is here that all other centers have emerged. The main function of the center is to lead in clinical trials in infectious, neglected and non-communicable diseases as well as testing of diagnostic kits. The center also hosts the National Cancer Registry, collecting data on all forms of cancer incidences and trends in Kenya. At the moment, it is working on the establishment of cancer registers in 10 counties. It is in keeping with the spirit of devolving healthcare services to Wanainchi. Looking forward for this center is to ensure that we become a regional hub for clinical trials and such expertise is only found here in Kemri. The institute is therefore working closely with the county governments to address county-specific research challenges and priorities in an effort to contribute to sustainable health solutions. This is in keeping with Kenya's Vision 2030 and the universal health coverage as one of the four key pillars of the government's development agenda. The relevance of Cambridge basically is to do research, but that research must also be able to be translated into research policy and practice. Kemri is now collaborating closely with the counties. The desire of the institute is to ensure that uh, in terms of our carrying out our mandate, we are collaborating closely with the counties. We are providing needed support to the counties. This is the only way that we can contribute in the achievement of universal health coverage. With the emerging and re-emerging health issues, it has become important to look at health challenges holistically. The One Health approach is therefore looking at the interaction and linkages between human, animal and environmental health in order to address diseases, particularly the ones that are spread from animals to humans. Kimri emphasizes on its research 
in the area of one health approach this we have noted is the interplay between uh, human populations animal population as well as the environment one of the major areas of focus is the antimicrobial resistance commonly referred to as amr in this area, Kemri is working together with the government and the animal health sector to understand the impact of antimicrobial resistance in animals and its risk factors in humans. The goal of One Health approach is to ensure the country is responding to these concerns because they largely contribute to human and animal health. We are working very closely between the human and the animal health center and the environmental sector to understand the impact of antimicrobial resistance in animals and the risk of that, uh, that resistance being transmitted from animals to humans 